Yes, a virus is on the loose. As the COVID pandemic flares up again in the form of the Delta variant and spreads wildly in places with large unvaccinated populations, the Republican Party this week had an oh shit moment. What is it going to take to get people to get shots in arms? I don't know. You tell me. Folks supposed to have common sense. But it's time for to start blaming the unvaccinated folks, not the regular folks. It's the unvaccinated folks that are letting us down. Months of Republican death wish politicians and conservative media personalities playing footsie with or outright embracing vaccine skepticism has created a situation in which the party base is cheering anti-vax sentiment at conservative conferences. Old Delta is licking its chops, barbecuing the hell out of red states. The Mia Culpa headlines now read like one big ass regret sequel. I didn't think I needed the COVID-19 vaccine. I regret not being vehemently pro-vaccine. We regret not getting the shot. Wish I had gotten the vaccine. An Alabama doctor reveals what she tells dying COVID patients who beg for a vaccine after thinking the pandemic was a host. I'm admitting young, healthy people to the hospital with very serious COVID. Dr. Brittany Cobia wrote in a Facebook post on Sunday. One of the last things they do before they're intubated is beg me for the vaccine. I hold their hand and tell them that I'm sorry, but it's too late. A few days later, when I call time of death, I hug their family members and I tell them the best way to honor their loved one is to go get vaccinated and encourage everyone they know to do the same. Cobia added. They cry, and they tell me they didn't know. They thought it was a hoax. They thought it was political. They thought because they had a certain blood type or a certain skin color, they wouldn't get as sick. They thought it was just the flu, but they were wrong, and they wish they could go back, but they can't. So they thank me and they go get the vaccine, and I go back to my office, write their death note, and say a small prayer that this loss will save more lives. Cobia said all but one of her current patients did not receive the vaccine, with the one who received it expected to recover. AL.com reports that Cobia and other doctors worked themselves to the bone in the early part of the pandemic, when the vaccine wasn't available during a period she described as tragedy after tragedy after tragedy. You know, so many people that did all the right things and yet still came in and were critically ill and died, Cobia said, adding that it's different mentally and emotionally to care for someone who could have prevented their disease but chose not to. You kind of go into it thinking, okay, I'm not going to feel bad for this person because they make their own choice, Cobia said, but then you actually see them. You see them face to face, and it really changes your whole perspective, because they're still just a person that thinks that they made the best decision that they could, with the information that they have, and all the misinformation that's out there. And now all you really see is their fear and their regret. And even though I may walk into the room thinking, okay, this is your fault, you did this to yourself. When I leave the room, I just see a person that's really suffering, and that's so regretful for the choice they made. She compared the current surge to October and November, just before Alabama experienced its December peak, and she was signing 10 death certificates a day. She added that she fears impending doom, as children go back to school with 70% of Alabama's population unvaccinated. Cobia herself contracted COVID-19 last July, despite taking every precaution, but experienced only mild symptoms. She got vaccinated as soon as possible, even though she was breastfeeding at the time, after consulting with her primary doctor and her OBGYN. I try to be very non-judgmental when I'm getting a new COVID patient that's unvaccinated, but I really just started asking them, why haven't you gotten the vaccine? And I'll just ask it point blank in the least judgmental way possible, Cobia said. And most of them, they're very honest. They give me answers. I talked to this person. I saw this thing on Facebook. I got this email. I saw this on the news. You know, these are all the reasons that I didn't get vaccinated. And the one question that I always ask them is, did you make an appointment with your primary care doctor and ask them for their opinion on whether or not you should receive the vaccine? And so far, nobody has answered yes to this question. And just like a soldier, I keep on moving forward, always getting closer.